It's Dream School's Listing Day. In the last video, we discovered our sense of purpose and self-belief, and today we're gonna to be diving into the real meat of this course. It's time to start crafting your dream school's list. Sounds daunting, right? Well, today I'm gonna to be walking you through a very simple process that will allow you to gain clarity on the dream schools that you wanna apply for in the next year or years ahead. Often the simplest way to figure out what you want in life is to figure out what you don't want. That's why today we're starting with a rapid fire exercise. I'm going to say the names of the 10 most prestigious schools in the entire world, and they're likely gonna be some of the dream schools that you want to apply for. Your job is to simply just answer yes or no to the following question. If I could, would I want to attend this school? Don't overthink it. Forget about acceptance rates, attendance costs, all of that stuff. Just go based on your gut feeling. Okay, let's crack into it. Here are the schools, Harvard University, just a simple yes or no as to whether you'd like to attend. Stanford University, MIT, Yale University, Oxford University, again, just a simple yes or no, the first thing that comes to your mind. Cambridge University, Princeton University, Columbia University, the California Institute of Technology, and finally, the University of Pennsylvania. In general, these are the most competitive schools in the world. So if you have your sights set on even just a couple of these, all the other schools you want to apply for will be a breeze to get into. When I did this test just two years ago, I quickly distilled down that I wanted to go to Harvard, Stanford, MIT, Yale, UPenn, and Columbia. So six schools in total. However, the next step was to figure out, could I even go to these schools based on the degree programs they offer? To do this, we need to see if the specific graduate school exists. For instance, my degree was in education, so I would search whether the university had a graduate school of education. For you, it might be the business school or the engineering school. So for Harvard, when I typed in Harvard Graduate School of Education, it popped up in the search bar, which meant that they did have my degree program on offer. However, when I typed in the Yale Graduate School of Education, nothing came up because Yale doesn't offer programs in the education field. Neither did Brown, Dartmouth, or MIT. And this process quickly helped me to distill down four schools that I wanted to attend, which were Harvard, Stanford, UPenn, and Columbia. And I actually ended up getting accepted into every single one. This very simple process helped me to quickly distill down my dream school list. So here's what I recommend you do. Just open up an Excel spreadsheet or a Google sheet. And in the first column, put the dream school. And then in the second column, just put whether or not the program is available that you're interested in. Very simple. Go through each of your dream schools and quickly check whether or not they have the degree program you want and it's gonna quickly help you to distill down a handful of schools you can look to apply to. And let's not forget, this process is about you. I only listed 10 of the most prestigious schools in the world and there are so many other places you can consider. So on top of this list, it's really important that you take the time to go away, do your homework and figure out what are the other schools that you want to apply to. And I think there are two really easy ways to do this. The first is just to type into Google US or UK university rankings and go through the list of the top 100 most highly ranked universities in the US or UK and write down schools that jump out to you and appeal to you. But the second approach is to think about the locations in which you'd like to live when you're studying. For instance, it might be you want to live in Canada or Italy or a specific state in the US. And in that case, you just type into Google top universities in Canada, top universities in New York, and hopefully that should start to give you more ideas about the universities that you want to study in. Ideally, from this process just aim for a list of like four to five schools at the moment and you can always add to that list in the future. Once you've identified a handful of dream schools that you're interested in applying for we can now move on to video four which is about figuring out the scholarships that we want to apply for. Getting accepted into a graduate school is great but you know what's even better? Getting accepted to a graduate school with a partial scholarship or even a full ride scholarship because it gives you so much freedom and alleviation because there's no longer that financial burden. So in the next video, which is one of the most exciting videos, we're going to be going through 50 of the biggest scholarships in the world and I'm gonna be helping you figure out which scholarships you wanna apply for. As always, if you would like free one-on-one -on -one support from myself in reaching your dream college, then fill out my Google form at the top of the description because I'm selecting one new student every single week to help them reach their college dreams for free. So no matter where you are on your college journey, just fill out the form. It only takes two minutes and I'll see you all in the next video. Good luck.